All right, Shalom. 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 All right, first off, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakudash. Double honors unto the apostles, the great millstone, and teaching rule well, peace and blessing unto the elect. All right, we the brother from the great millstone, Dallas Branch. Coming back at you uh, on another prize, amen, to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom. All right, America known as Babylon, or the daughter of Babylon, according to the scriptures, man. Okay, of Babylon the Great. All right. Come in week in and week out to warn you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, man, who you are, to let you know who you are. All right, to let you know who your power is, man. All right, to let you know who your enemies are. All right, and to uh, tell you to repent, man, before the Lord brings judgment. You see, and right now, the shit get closer to the end, man, you know. We're preparing to uh, 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 to depart from this place, man. You see, the elder always said all the time. The elder Bunch of always said, man, about you know uh, about detaching, man. You see, and as as the day get closer, man, we should be letting. Let me get that too in Second Nature fourteen. We talked about let go of the, the, the weak, uh, uh, the weak nature, man. You see, as shit get as shit get tighter, because it's soon to get tighter in twenty twenty four. Why these people think this gonna be the year that they gonna prosper? <clears throat> they looking to, uh, <clears throat> they looking to, uh, you know further their business here in Babylon to try to create generational wealth where well, it's not going to go as these people plan, man. Just like the scriptures say in Isaiah, what is it? Isaiah 55, my thoughts are not your thoughts, man. You see, neither your ways, my ways. So just because these people think, all right, that they're going to further themselves, that's not the Heavenly Father's plan for this place, man. You see, generational wealth, seeing their grandchildren, seeing their children grow up, seeing their grandchildren grow up and graduate, go to prom. You see, that's not in the Heavenly Father's plan, man. You see, the Heavenly Father has planned for Babylon the Great, and that's to destroy it, man. That's you right. see, and that's going to happen real soon, and we can we, we know that by, uh, 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 get 2nd Edges real quick, too. Uh, it's all in 2nd Edges, by measuring the times, bro. But you, you got something around? I had that 14. That okay, uh, 14. uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, bro. Okay. So the 2nd Edges, chapter 14, and I'll start at verse 13. It says, Now, therefore, set thine house in order, and reprove thy people, Comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. Let go from thee mortal thoughts. Hey, it's a lot, bro. We don't want more time, bro. Right. Start, 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 start again. Second Edges 14 and 13, it says, Now therefore set thine house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. Yeah, you see, so now the Lord Heavenly Father is telling us to set our house in order, starting with ourselves personally first, all right? And then if brothers have, you know, a woman and children get this. Get them, get them, prepare their minds for what's coming to the best of their, your ability, man. You see? But it says what? Read the, uh, 13 one more time, bro. Yep. It says, now therefore set thine house in order and remove thy people. Yeah, that's why we should be constantly examining ourselves. We can tell you that in the book of Sirach, man. You see? Examine thyself before judgment. You see, as we see everything popping off, the shit going on over there in the Middle East, you see these conflicts, all right? The shit still ramping up with Ukraine. Now all these other nations are getting involved and everything that's taking place over there in the Red Sea, they gathering it, 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 they gathering over there into the, uh, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, man. You see, this is all biblical prophecy, man. And as we see these stuff going on, man, we should, that's just more uh, 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 assurance to us that these scriptures are true, okay? And also, it should put fear in us to what? Get ourselves uh, in order, man. You see, get more in order to cut, cut uh, per, you know, shit that we uh, do, you know, the BS that we do. All right, we need to mortify that, man. You see? It says... Reprove thy people, comfort such of them as be in trouble. Yeah, reprove thy people, correct them, man. Let them know what's going on, man. You see, Cause our people, man, our people live their life, you know, according to the Western, the Western, uh, the, uh, the mindset of their enemies, man. And we know the mindset of Esau is this shit. We know the, uh, the <laughs> we know the mindset of uh, Esau is totally contrary. Yeah, um, I need to apologize to you guys. Um, I came out one time in the summer, um, and I've been having a hard time trying to come out to the camps. Um, I guess there was a demon on me because when I when I got out here, um, yeah, yeah, remember? yeah, yeah, y'all remember me? Yeah. So uh, I wanted to continue to keep coming out, but I, I I had a problem, so I wanted to grab my 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 signs, and I was trying to give them to you guys, but um, I wasn't paying attention, and I didn't realize the camp was over. So when I when, when I got here, you guys were driving off. And, Y'all, y'all were really brotherly to me. Y'all were really brother to, brotherly to me. And when I saw you guys driving off, uh, I, in, in my mind, I had it to where the I was thinking that the Lord wasn't working with me, like He was giving me a sign that it's too late. 
so I, I just uh, I kind of fell off a little bit. I was still watching, but I just wasn't I, I wasn't in the spirit. And when I came out here with you guys, it felt really, really, really good to be out here with y'all. But I wasn't in the correct spirit because I was looking at y'all as if y'all were someone greater than me. Instead of realizing that y'all y'all would y'all out here doing the same thing that I'm trying to do, just get salvation. Right? Yes, yes. So I apologize for that, and I really want to come out here as much as I possibly can. But at the moment, I'm really supposed to be at work right now. But I noticed that y'all were out here, so I had to come out here and apologize because it's been on my mind ever since. That's cool. You know, if you can't come out, you got to work. You got to get your daily bread. Just keep watching the videos. Keep praying for the most time to Sunday. Right. Right. You know? right. Yeah. I just didn't want to offend anybody like that. Cause, you know, I, I really want to be out here, and I feel like I should be out here. You know, and I, I don't want to be convicted in my spirit. So I had to come out here and let y'all know what was what was on my what was on my heart, what was on my mind. And I, I don't want y'all to feel like a, a bug out, basically, you know? Yeah, so I'm good, bro. You leave, brother, you watch the videos. When you're able to come out, just come out, you know? Yeah. Just keep, you know, keep watching the videos, keep that man. Thank y'all, thank y'all very much. Um, all this part, you know, watch you out of the oh, yeah, all praise to you all watching me out of shot. Um my my uh my channel is the car facade wa So uh if y'all if y'all see me on uh if y'all see me on YouTube, uh just you know, give me a message or uh let me know if, if there's anything I'm doing wrong in the doctrine that I'm teaching that I'm learning from. You know, you know what, just come out here and then you know learn from Watching videos, but if you can't come out here, like the elder said, you know, that would be better. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to try my best to get out here as much as possible. But my schedule is from like 4.30 4 to 10.30 p.m. We got other camps. Yeah, we got yeah, the camps. new camp. Yeah, uh, I just noticed the, the new camp today, but yeah, yeah but I, I don't know the exact day. Yeah, yeah, we're going to say where they are. If I know, right. up the corner right there, we'll be teaching that right at the street. Right up there? Okay, yeah. okay. new camp. Okay. Thank y'all. Thank y'all very much. Man. All right, now. All thanks to you. How about you? Y'all shot. Shot him off. Shot him off. Shot him off. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, man. All right. So we're going to get bike, man. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's part of it. Hey, we're just going to say, getting our house in order. You know what I'm saying? That's the spirit. You see? Hey, I see. More and more, if we get close, we're going to get more and more Jays coming up, man. You see? We, we, hey, man, through the spirit of power, you how about some y'all shot? We don't want to have an answer, man, of what's going on in the planet Earth right now, man. When shit really gets, when shit really starts ramping up, because right now these people are not really a, they not, it's not really affecting them personally right now. Right. But when it starts affecting these people in their personal lives, all right, you know what I'm saying? They're going to start questioning, man, what's going on? You see, the prophets are going to be the only one who has to have. Oh, yeah, I was going to mention, uh, you know what? My brother, this is That's what people are missing. You know what I'm saying? They're missing reality. They're missing reality. They're not seeing it for what they're but you have the eyes open when you see what it is. 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 You know, man, I have living, living, uh, 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 I can't even, uh, I don't even know what to call it. You say living, just living, uh, a BS life. You know what I'm saying? But when it's all about, you know what I'm saying? That God has put the power of the man in the man, so the man is the thing. So the man, the man doesn't need uh, direction, you know what I'm saying? But he needs to be able to do what he does, but he does great for what God created us to do. You know? I feel the issue of that brother all the time. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But the whole thing is, you, know you got to walk in your right. You got to walk in your greatness. You got to because guess what? I think everybody else out here, each one of you have your own greatness and light. But you can do better than anybody else. Anybody, you see what I'm saying? Nah, I'm, 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 I'm a child for a long time. When y'all was over there, y'all you know what I'm saying? And I always say, well, they be talking, no, they ain't talking great, they talk their right. They talking about right. for the whole thing. You don't want to get, you know what I'm saying, in the court, what you need to get into a court to, for it to yeah. happen. Yeah, it, it, it all goes back to the truth sound crazy, the, the truth sound crazy, man. That's yeah. why a lot of people don't accept it, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, so, right, right. You want to say something? Yeah. Real quick. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 4. What the word of a king is, there's power. Mm -hmm. So we're speaking the Bible, man. So this is what the power lies here through the scriptures, yeah. okay. see? Right. What the word of a king is, there's power. 
and who may say unto him, what doest thou? Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, man. See, yeah. That's what the power is, man. See, see, that's why everybody is trying, that's why everything they try to come up against the scriptures, man, gets broken into pieces, man. Yeah. Every philosophy, you know what I'm saying, every doctrine yeah. that tries to come up against the truth, man, it yeah. gets broken into pieces. That's why it says the, 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 the word of the Lord is uh, and, and, uh, and, it's like a fire, it turns it into a sword. Do, do, you, you know? do you agree with this? Do you agree with this? Because, because, uh, 14, yeah. Do you agree with this? Oh, because, because the one thing, you know what I'm saying, God, he already... He already know how he gonna bless you, when he gonna bless you, and why he gonna bless you. You know what I'm saying? So the whole thing is like, you know what I'm saying? Just wait on him though. You, you try him. These people ain't got nothing going on, man. They ain't got nothing going on. Wait on him. Because when he said, when they say, hey, this is your time, it's time to move. I need you to do this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta be on it. You gotta be on it. That's how you get it. You know what I'm saying? You get it no other way through him. You know what I'm saying? That's what you say. That's what you say. Wait, he on me. So I wise up to the point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're going we're gonna, to uh, get this. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 14. It says, Let go from thee mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Yeah. Put off now the weak nature. Yeah, yeah. cares of this life, man. You see? Yeah, we in this Yeah, we in this captivity and we got to get our daily yeah. bread. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. We got to, you know, but... At the end of the day, we know that everything is about to be destroyed. We know that right. this place is going to be uh, done away with, yeah. man. Yeah. You see, so we got to let go of the, the curves of this world, man. Right. Trying to hold on to something in this life when this truly is not life, man. I feel you, know? you on that. Trying to hold on yeah. to it and then like family, on the world's going to pull at you, man. Yeah, you hold see? on to nothing. Hold on, hold on. but I feel you. I heard, I heard you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we're going to let the scripture speak. All right, all right, all right. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. Verse, verse 15, it says, And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, yeah, man. You see what, what what are some of those thoughts, man? Damn, what I'm gonna do? This, that, what if, man? You see, don't yeah. don't trip on that what if, man. Right. You see, right. you gotta just trust in the Lord, man. Whatever the situation you may be in, and that's what the Lord is teaching us right now. With these different situations that brothers are going through, yeah. Man, everybody, everybody has a. Uh, we all in hell, but every brother has a, a particular uh, a particular hell, man. You see, yeah, he has, going he on. has right, to fight. Right, 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 I can't right. fight this brother. I can't. I can't right. walk this brother. Walk. He can't right. walk mine. Right. You see, I can't right. go tell on this brother into salvation. You see, we and, gotta work out our and, own salvation you, with, and, with with with, uh, you, trembling, with fear know, and trembling, man. Yeah. You know, and hold you on, know, hold on. Ahead, I feel you, brother. Hold on. Ahead. I know, I know you ain't gonna speak. Hold on. <laughs> All right, but uh, going back up to the point, man, about getting our house in order, man. You see, yeah. so the closer we get, the closer, the more and more we see that these prophecies are uh, popping off the page, man. Okay, the more we should be cutting off. All right, and getting rid of that, that weak nature. Man. Okay. You see, but we getting ready to see massive judgment. Okay. Right. And in particular, right. we're gonna be seeing some of our uh, our family members, man. Yeah. Right. People that we love on, on, on in this world, man. Particular right. friends that you right. that you you know you still may cut for, man. You see, but we're getting ready to see the uh, judgment, man. You see, we can't get offended at what the Lord is getting ready to do, man. Right. You right. know. Yeah. Right. I, believe, right. I believe if you go into that, what you're saying, you know, uh, going to like get your house in order, it also goes into uh, you know how the twelve parts of the earth. There's twelve parts of the earth, and uh, ten have ten already passed, and then. Uh, Tenth of the half, has you know, what I'm saying, had already passed. You know, so we we really at the pretty much like a quarter. We got a quarter, of maybe a, you know, a, a one eighth. Or if you want to get specific, eleven thirty-two of the time left, man. Right. Yeah. Like eleven. And, and you know what? Yeah, yep. it's, it's amazing you say that because because I just talking to a friend of mine yesterday. He said, "Well, you know." You don't care about the women. I said no. I said I said it's not about that. I said you know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying. I got some different things for men to do. You know what I'm saying. Unless you understand that. You know what I'm saying. Unless you and you do converse with that, read about it or anything. You know what I'm saying. Then you know what I'm saying. As men, you know what I'm saying. There's certain things that we that we do, and that's just what we do. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's giving us that blessing, that okay, you know what I'm saying? That thing. But the whole thing is not about press falling. Those don't know. Those don't know. It's garbage, man. Those don't know. Those don't know. It's garbage. Pretty much. All right, let's get the second edge, brother. Let's get that two again. Let's get that two again. Let's bring that up real quick. This is second edge, 14 and 12. It says, okay, I'm going to look at the third edge, 10. Verse 10. It says, For the world had lost his youth, and the times began to wax old, for the world is divided into twelve parts, 
and the ten parts of it are gone already, and half of the uh, tenth part, and there remains that which is after the, the half of the tenth part. Man. So you know we we've, we've already so we've already you know exceeded though that you know that tenth part. You know, so we really at the edge of the end. When he's telling them, when he's telling them, telling them those things, you know, and he was saying, well, this is the tenth of the tenth part. You know, imagine now, today, you know, where, you know, that's why, that's why the brothers, you know, that's what the elders say, you know, we at the end of the end, you know, that final stretch, you know, so, so, you know, so the times that we are in are very uh, dangerous. You know, we're, we're in a dangerous time, but once shit hits the fan, then that's gonna, you know, people are really gonna understand, like, damn, like, our way of life is over. I can't go down to Walmart and buy a piece of bread. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't go back to the crib and watch, you know, a rerun of Brick and Morty or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they're not gonna be able to do that. Yeah, that's all real quick. This second, uh, second Timothy chapter three and verse one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of them, their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemer, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors. Heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of the most high. I'm pretty sure every brother here can, can describe a scenario of what that brother just read today. You got these dudes talking, you know, you got these dudes in the square talking about how, you know, talking about Paul, you know what I'm saying, how they, and they, and they, and they, and they, you know, they don't uh, worship Yahweh Shai and all that madness. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But in the scriptures, it tells you, man. Yahweh Shai, what did you worship? You know, and, and even to, you know, like the like the, the brother Tazimah had mentioned earlier. You know what I'm saying? Paul, Paul even said, you know, uh, Peter even said that Paul's writings was would be something hard to understand. And what comes to faith, that's that's man, we've been dealing with that. Man. For them to not understand faith, you know, uh, you know works you know, based on faith. Like it says in uh, James second chapter, you know, faith without works is dead being alone. Man. How hard is that to understand, man? That's, that means that they ain't got it. You know, and that's included into what that brother, you know, the Quran had brought out in that scripture, man. You know, unbelievers, people that, are, you know, uh, you got kids today, you know, oh, you know, uh, damn monsters talking back, you know, uh, even worse than the, than, than, than the uh, uh, three generations back, man. You know, so everything that that brother described right there is happening today. It's gonna keep getting worse. Uh, uh, and you can uh, basically see all the things that he, uh, the brother just read through social media. You can type in anyone, anything. Uh, you can type in different things. You can pull up every multiple videos on what he just said. Lover of themselves. You know that vanity uh, spirit. You can take selfies. You can take yourself constantly. You know everything. You know uh, uh, everything he just mentioned is, go is, is basically is happening today. In a uh, in an abundant amount, you know. It's to the point that that's a, that's a that's a sign that you know that we're in the end times, man. Right? See, just like Yahweh Shai gave, just like Yahweh Shai uh, gave, the, you know, gave uh, the, the disciples those signs. Look, this is how you gonna know. You gonna see uh, wars and rumors of war, these particular things like that. That's how you know what time we in, man. That's just like it says in Second Edges, what is that, eight or nine? To measure the time diligently, man. Hey, um, uh, chapter nine, man. How you do it according to the word, according to the prophecy, man. <laughs> So you got it. Go Second Ezra 9, verse 1. It said, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Mm -hmm. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the earth which he made. Yeah, we know we're in a time, but you see, the you see everything that's going on. This is the most high visit in the earth, man. You see? Just like during the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, Yahweh Shai said himself, on his return, it's going to be as in the, in the days of Sodom. All right? It's going to be as in the days of Noah, man. You see? What did the Lord do? Well, he sent those angels down to inquire on what was going on, man. 
You see? What did, what did, what did the angels tell uh, Abraham? Well, the cry of Sodom has gone up. Who was crying, man? How did, how did he hear those cries? Well, Lot was crying. Right. Lot was vexed. Just like it says, what is that? Is it a beating, bro? He vexed with the yeah. filthy conversation of the wicked, man. <laughs> you see, he said he vexed himself day, day to day, man. You see? So he, he was constantly crying unto the Lord about what was going on, man. Right. Like Just like now, man, we crying out. You see, so the Lord is, hey, the Lord got the angels investigating. You see, we, you hear, he's hearing the cries, man. You see? He's a two, man. Just like we were crying because of the oppressor, we crying now in the spiritual region, man. And the Lord is, hey, just like, just like it says, man, they, their cries have entered into the ears of the Lord, man. Right. You see? So we coming into the time where the Lord is about to bring judgment and he's about to deliver his remnant, man. You see? So this, these are great times we're living in. We should be excited, man. Yeah, you see? Yeah, yeah we're we coming into the terrifying times, but we have hope. We have something to look forward to, right. man. Right. Through our works, right. man. The Lord will we continue in it and endure it to the end, man. You know? I, I, I agree with you. I'm uh, Just to add to the, the brother tonight, uh, those same those same ones. When you read in Ezekiel the ninth chapter, they're gonna receive that 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 mark, man. The the, the, the law, man. You know, because they're the ones that sign and, and crying for, for the abomination that's that's being done in the midst, man. You know what I'm saying? The majority of these of our people, the Israelites, the people that you made a the simple Indians of people are descent. Really, the majority of these people, period are not concerned, man. They're not worried about uh, uh, anything that's going on here, man. Right. You know, with all this uh, uh, madness that's going on, everything that's just like the, the, the Khan mentioned, like uh, a lot, man. He was he was vexed from day to day, daily, man. You know, we're in that same lot in spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? So, but those are the, are the men that, that are out here signing and crying. Those are the ones that's gonna receive that exemption, man. That the why, that mark, man. Right, yeah, these niggas, these niggas ain't signing and crying, man. You see? Even niggas amongst Israel, they ain't signing crime, man. Some fuckers are probably not signing crime. No. These niggas worried about fucking debates, man. Right. Bitch ass niggas. Yo. You should be signing crime unto the Lord, nigga. Right. Telling him to come back, bro. Pleading with the Lord to send his son back, man. Yeah. To get us out of this damn situation. But you niggas worried about establishing being being the man. Yo. You see what well, that 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 pride spirit gonna get you niggas killed, man. You see? Just like that, well, hey man, the Lord, man, the Lord's gonna judge, man. Bro, this is gonna be the year that the Lord gonna judge these niggas. The Lord's gonna start judging niggas, man. You see, all these niggas is playing with the Lord. Yeah, man, he, he you see, tired. He you, tired. You, you, you mad? Right. You mad? You, you mad with the with the order that Yahweh Bashemah was shot set up through the Spirit, right. done with the apostles and elders, man? You see, you mad at that order because you can't be the man? That's that's a bitch nigga spirit, man. Right. You more worried about your damn self than you are salvation, man. Right. right. Hey, I got, I got a car to show. I can see you. What time y'all be here? Uh, this is uh, Second Peter. Time. Two verse. Uh, starting verse five. The point you of the seven. You seen us? Have you seen? You seen us here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I just. Time. Time. Okay. Go ahead, Lord. So, Second uh, Peter two, verse five. Uh, starting four is that for uh, for if Yahweh spare not the angels that sin to cast them down to hell and deliver them to the chains of darkness to be reserved into uh, to judgment. And spare not the whole world, but save no. Huh. This is uh Second Peter two and four. It says, For if you how about you shot spare not the angels that sin. Now who was this talking about, man? Because we we gotta stop we may have oh, yeah. new believers on the on the on the you know what I'm saying, it's coming into you know, just watching, man. Right. Who these angels are not talking about this. Somebody will read that face value and think it's talking about the actual angels, man. Right, you see, right, no, right, this is going into. Hey, can you got the blue letter? Second Peter two and one. He said, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. Who privily shall bring in damnable heresy, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. If you deny Paul, you deny Paul his teachings, then you deny the Lord, man. The very Lord, the uh, Yahweh sent Paul up, man. When you read it in, in uh, Acts, the ninth chapter, you know, St. Luke, who wrote Acts? Luke, man. In a minute, you niggas gonna have to give up every, you might have to give up the New Testament period, bro, at the rate that y'all doing, man. You know, y'all ain't gonna have nobody to run to. You got the the, the con just mentioned in, in Second Peter. You know, you had uh, uh, the the chief head apostle uh, 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 Peter. He uh, co-signed for Paul. He right. called him beloved brother. You know, beloved mean the house of David, man. That's that's the elect, bro. Right. You know what you niggas doing, man? You know, 
And it said, and it says the same thing in, 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 in 2 Peter, man. Unto your own destruction, man. You know? So you you hey, you dudes are heading to destruction, man. You know? But as it says in Acts, he he was a chosen vessel of Yahweh Shai, man. You know, he uh Yahweh Shai told Ananias, hey, don't worry about that, because Ananias was trying to run all that stuff down, you know, when Paul was, you know, killing the, the, the Israelites, man. And he said, nah, don't worry about that, bro. You know, he's a chosen vessel, man. You know, so basically, just go do what I told you to do. Right. You know? Right. Nah, you got it, Ops. Uh, nah, you good, bro. Uh, verse 2, it says, And many shall follow their uh, pernicious, uh, pernicious, pernicious ways, but reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Right? It says, uh, uh, read that again. And many shall follow their pernicious, way, pernicious ways by reason of whom uh, for whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Yeah, man, so they're going to follow after the lust of their heart, man. They're going to do whatever they want. They're going to, you know, they're going to feel like they, you know, they, uh, they do whatever they want, which is what's happening today, man. Even even with these people in these other camps, man, these people that say that, well, I believe, I feel like this is, a, you know, or my opinion is, or, you know, I think, you know, that, that opinion, man, but they don't, they, they're not born according to what the scripture is talking about. Right. Like the behind is talking about, man, like these people really think that Paul is not somebody to be respected. And then Peter has said, Peter literally, literally has told him that, look, this is, you know, he was set up by the Lord, man. Chosen by God. And then right. Yahweh Shai, you say they, well, we don't worship him, but we respect him. Like, motherfucker, Yahweh Shai literally tells you in Colossians that he's worthy to be worshipped, worthy to be worshipped, man. Right. Right. He's literally the, 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 the image of, of, of the Lord, man. You know, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these motherfuckers that tell, tell that you hear these guys talking about. That, that the Lord, you know, they, they don't worship the Lord or, or, or Paul, or, you know, they don't respect Paul or don't see him as, as, as somebody that's worthy, man. But they going off. That's according to the scriptures, man. That's not a, that's not a my opinion. That's not this brother's opinion. You know, the elder doesn't have you think that you, they, I, well, you know, I believe. You know, no, we all believe this because the scrolls say that, man. You know, right. So, so whatever these guys are talking about, man, you, obviously you can pinpoint who is wrong. Yeah, the scroll, the scrolls is done. Can, can you read that one more time? Sure. Uh, two, yeah, yeah. Second Peter two and two, and it says, "And many shall follow their pernicious, pernicious, pernicious ways." And many shall follow their pernicious ways, man. You know what I'm saying? And that word per pernicious is is going into like a, a, a dangerous, man. You know, yeah. of harmful effect. You know. So it says many. Them niggas got how many, like hundreds of, a couple of hundred thousand subscribers. Yeah. You know, that's that many following those pernicious or dangerous, uh, 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 harmful, effective ways, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not a guy in the chat, but in the donate their money. Right. Right. You know, where they can put money in the debate, debate against a member of GMF. Thousand dollars. Right. Yeah. They can say they they in their own country. Make sure. you are you following us? Make sure you put the follow button and you like everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. they, they probably doing that shit, man. Or share, you know, share it, send, send, send to your friends, your family. Put it in the super chat. Yeah, yeah right. in the super chat, yeah. man. You know? I got one real quick. Zirak 3 and 24. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. And the word suspicion says, the act or an instance of suspecting something wrong without proof or slight evidence you don't have any proof that all and all this is going off man right so right. your mind has been overthrown by your judgment which is wicked right. your opinion don't matter at the end of the day man he said for many are deceived by their own vain opinion and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment yeah, yeah. Man, so they thinking that, that that something's wrong or something's off but you ain't got and, no proof yeah yeah that's right they ain't got no proof it's all in their mind you know, so they thinking like, you know what, I don't, I don't, I feel like that, man, that's some, some, some Christianity mentality, man. Yeah. They can think it, you think, well, I feel, or my, I don't think that's right. I feel like it should be like this, or, you know, uh, or, you know, there's some things that Paul has said that I don't agree with. Bro, that's just, that's your main opinion. You don't have no proof. 
You don't have nothing, no, no, nothing to back it up, no scriptures. You're not breaking it down. You're not doing nothing. No, I got, I got a quick one. Man, that's why the Lord gave. Hey, you know, we have faith that the Lord has enough power. You how about you how about Shemiah Shai? Is to put Paul's writing on there for us to have that full understanding. All right, for us to break that down, and he wasn't going off. You know, that's why the Lord allowed the scripture, uh, allowed uh, his writing to be in the New Testament. You know, but what are you doing is leaning onto your own understanding. The Lord told you in Proverbs not to do it. Proverbs three. Yeah. Yeah. I guess, yeah, like, yeah. I guess, I guess this nigga is more, got more authority than Paul. Right. right. Mark at. Oh man. Oh man. This is uh, this is Proverbs chapter three, verse five. It says, Tru uh, "Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not, and lean not unto thine own understanding." See, there you go. It told you right there. It said, "Lean not unto thine own understanding." And it says, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. You know, so you're not supposed to go off the, uh, the opinions and thoughts of your heart, man. You're supposed to lean unto the understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right. Or else, or else you're going to end up like these guys, man, thinking that you can voice your opinion and say, well, scriptures say that it's, you're supposed to go right, but I feel like we should go left. And it says, verse 7, it says, Be not wise in thine own eyes. Hear the Lord and depart from evil. You know, so that's what these guys are doing, man. They think that, they, that they're they making right decisions and right the good calls and, and, and voicing their opinions is the is right way, man. Right. It's not according to, to the ways of the Lord, man. You know, they can say, uh, well, y'all think y'all writing in your own eyes, but see, the thing is, we're, still, we're sticking to the script. You know, we are, we believe in Paul's right. You know, we believe it is authoritative. It, it gives us an understanding. We, <laughs> but you don't want to believe, you know. So uh, it looks like you're taking it to your, uh, this is what I think. This is my opinion. You know, the hell with your opinion. We, we, you're supposed to stick to the script. Man, Paul's writings, Paul's writings gives the order for women, get these right. women back in, in, in line. Exactly. Paul did that, man. Yep. You know? He was a smart bro. He was a <laughs> man. Yeah, he was a master. He was a master. master of the law, exactly. Yeah. 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 So he knew the law. Right. You know, so how you gonna how you gonna question? He'll use Paul's writing when he needs him. Yeah. You know. Like I say, we uh, go into the woman, he'll pull out uh, uh, Paul's right. You know, he'll pull out those scriptures. So, well, I guess Peter, what, what do you what do you draw the line? Peter, does Peter write the matter there? Right. Like, what do you draw the line there? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it trickles all, it all trickles yeah. down. Like, you, you denying Paul, so you denying Peter, okay, now you're going to deny your house shy? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or, you, or now you're denying the Lord. Yeah. Peter was dead, though. Yeah. yeah. He was living him, he was the head of the church. That's, that's his understanding. That's why, that's why Yahweh said that with the boys in John, where he said, they don't deny you, but they deny me. You know what I'm saying? So if they saying that Paul is not to be respected, man, then you're not respecting the Lord. Because he comes, he's teaching the things uh, that the Lord had set him up to do, man. It's not hard. You know, like, okay, you you say, uh, what that dude say? He said that, uh, that I can't be saved by the law, or the elder Yahshua was saying, you can't, you're not saved by the law, so I don't have to follow. Yeah, we can't be saved by the law, but we still got to follow to the best of our abilities. We still have faith, but uh, without works, faith is, is dead being alone, man, like it right. says in James' second chapter. You know? That, it's, it's broke, everything is broken down in the scriptures, man. If you don't look at it, then you're not going to know that. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't sit down and listen to somebody that knows better than you, then you're not going to understand. Or you're not going to learn, man. You know, how can one man learn unless someone uh, teach him? Right. Bro, the scriptures say, I think it's just a rock what it says, what it says, like a, uh, a evil man will not take a uh, rebuke, but find the positive excuse, or something like that. Roughly paraphrasing, man, that's old to that nigga, man. That, that's, that, that's a perfect example of that right there, bro. You know what I mean? He's trying to find the excuse, man. You know, you can't take rebuke, bro. That's all it is, man. That's all it is. But, uh, shit, I don't know, man. I want to get that point, bro. You had mentioned about the pain. Uh, 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 I jump back down to uh, thought of verse 4. 
Yeah. It's uh Second Peter two and four it says, For your how will spare not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell. Uh, last two verses, bro. Oh, yeah. It says, For if your how will spare not the angels that sin, yeah. but cast them down to hell. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of these Christians get tripped up on that, man. You see, they're talking about the angels. They came down, they gonna have a heaven sent to man. And, 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 and it is to have giants and the Nephilim and the Anunnaki and the shit never stops. Niggas just go on and on it and bust themselves out, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit crazy. No, man, that's why it's important that you gotta understand. How is it gonna go from Genesis chapter 5 is breaking down the lineage of Adam and then jumping to some angels popping people, popping, right. popping yeah. women, man? Yeah. Giants, big, big tall building, building ass niggas popping women. Popping women. Nigga holding like a toothpick. <laughs> like, nigga, no, no sense, bro. No, this is going into the sons of God, man. Right. You see, a real quick, right. you got that, uh, second angel. Chapter, the last chapter, chapter one. Yeah, chapter one. God, this is uh, Second Ezra, chapter one, and verse thirty-nine. It says, "Unto whom I will give for leaders Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Os Osias, Hosea, Os right, yep. Amos, yep, and Mike, Micah, Micah, yep, Joel, yep, Obadiah, and Jonas, uh -huh. Nahum, and okay. Habakkuk, oh, okay, Habakkuk, yeah. Habakkuk, yeah." Uh, Sophonias, Zephaniah, Agius, Zechariah, Zechariah, and Malachi, and Malachi, which is called also an angel of the Lord. Woo, cut. Read that one more time, bro. <laughs> God. Uh, the last one. Oh, yeah, the last, yeah, the last one. Verse bro. 40. Nahum and Habakkuk. Zepha, uh, this is uh, second Ezra 1 and verse 40. Nahum and Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Mm -hmm. Zechariah yep. and Malachi, which is called also an angel of the Lord. So here it is. It says that the basic comparison is calling Ma uh, Malachi an angel it, of the Lord. Man. You see? Alpha, so that shows you that it, 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 it's comparing a man to an angel. Man. Heaven, when you go into that word heaven, angel, man, it goes basically Christ, the definition of a uh, messenger, man. You see? So that's God going into the sons of God, man. You see? Because they were set up on the planet Earth to keep the keep the slot of the order. <laughs> bro, <laughs> what the fuck is going on tonight? Should not give a cussing. Man, yeah, they, they are, man. This going back up to the sons of God in Genesis chapter 5 was supposed to keep that order. Right. We're supposed to keep that way and push that vibration out, but they end up getting corrupted. You see? Those are those angels that the Lord didn't uh, read that. Read that one more time. Right. 2 Peter 2 and verse 3. Can you back up a little bit now? It says, and through a uh, flock. In verse 4, it says, for if. Yahweh spared not the angels that sinned, but yeah. cast them down to hell, uh -huh. but delivered them into chains of darkness to, yeah. be, to be reserved unto the judgment. Let's talk about this flesh, man, because at one point in time, but, hey, we weren't supposed to die, man. Right. You see? Yeah. We were cast down. It was, it was a fall away, man. You see? Started with Adam. All right? Then the sons of God ended up falling away again, getting corrupted, mixing and mingling with the with the uh, descendants of Cain. You see these other nations, man. You see? And they, it wasn't, they didn't go off by... by with them, they went out by letting them influence them. Yeah. The man bring the, letting the women of the other nation come in and influence and influence them, man, and influence the children. You see, just like now, the main one who take the main one who dragged the man to church is the woman. Right. The man don't want to go to church. Right. He want to see. He want to sit home, watch the game, and yeah. chill. It's the woman who it's the woman who does the holidays. Right. I want. I want to get the. I want to. The man ain't worried about that shit. You be quiet. I'm listening to the word. I'll run with God. I'll run with God. I'll run with God. I told you to back away. You told me to shut up. So move. Get the hell out of the way. You're in front of the camera. What the hell are you talking about? You don't know nothing. Man. I don't know. No, hold on. Hold hey, on. Hold on. Hold on. No, hold on. Be quiet. You be quiet. You be quiet. You know what the hell you're talking about. Read. 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 I'm gonna beat you up. Hey, 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 here we go. This is why Babylon gotta go. I'm gonna beat you up. These women are out of order, man. Keep going, brother. Second Peter 2, verse, verse 5. It says, And spare not the old world, but save Noah and eight persons, yeah. a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the blood of the, the world. When you go into that word, bringing in, man. It, Got it up? No, I, I, okay, I, yes, it goes into a particular doctrine, man. You only see? eight dollars. Only uh, eight. Doctor, man. So only eight souls were saved on Noah's day. The hell you mean? 
Just like, like the preaching of this, 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 this gospel, God's this day. new song that we preaching now is going to it's going it's going to usher in the midst of the destruction, right. man. You see? Keep going, bro. Uh, it says, "It spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly." Yep, of the ungodly, man. And that, that yeah, new I'm flood is going to be that second death. I'm ungodly, baby. Yeah, you see? I'm supposed to be ungodly. Man, you just said that. Please, can you just back up? No, you just said that. She said she's ungodly, man. man. You shut up. She don't know what the hell she's talking about. You don't know who you're talking to. I'm wrong with God. You better shut the hell up. That's Jesus Christ. I'm ungodly, baby. We're going to the special, man. It's many guys. We know your guys are safe. Yeah, many guys. 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 In verse 5, it says, And turn the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, and condemn them with an overflow. Yeah, man. The Lord destroyed that place, man. Not by That's what he did to this place. And Jesus Christ. all these people talking about. They don't worship the Lord. Wow. They don't even know his name. Demon, dog. All they do is talk about Jesus Christ, God. You know what I'm saying? And then go to church on Sunday and think they they good, man. Yeah. They're not, they not going to uh, do anything to, to, to profit the Lord, man. Yep. You know what? This is the result, you know? Yeah. That, that's the belief of Jesus right there. Bigger hair, white man. He don't mind. You see what he had led to? Yeah. He had led down here to Jesus. Jesus is worth the crack. Man, Jesus is worth the crack, bro. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, damn, this is, bro. Bro, that's why this place gotta go, bro. I mean, you know, you know, hey, hey, this is this is what we reading on right here. This is the, the new Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, hey, hey, they allow that in the church and say she got the Holy Spirit. Right, yep. right. Bro, right. She shouldn't have called the Holy Ghost. Oh, Lord. Man. <laughs> bro, let's get back to it, brother. Back in Second Peter two. And verse 5, it says, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. Yep, so the Sodom and Gomorrah was an example of how not to live, not to not to participate in that type of activity, man. Yep. But here in America, it's, it's hey, it all goes back unto Esau, man. You see, everything is flipped. America is a, is a, is a twilight zone, man. Everything is flipped. Like it says, and uh, what is it, Isaiah? The uh, woe to him that called good evil and uh and, 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 Yeah, real quick. You know what I'm saying? No, it's slaughter. It's Isaiah 5 and 20. And it reads, Woe to them that call evil good and good evil, uh -huh. that put darkness for light and light for darkness, yep. that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that's what Esau have done, man. And he has pushed that mindset upon the uh, upon the uh, 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 masses, man, of America, not only America, but he's spreading out, man. You see, his, like the scripture say in the book of Psalms, his tongue walking through the earth, man. You see, these philosophies and these mindsets are now spreading throughout the earth, man. And that's why these some of these nations are pissed off. Like, man, they, Esau, man, that, now you got women over there in, in, in uh, 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 what is that, uh, Iraq twerking and doing all this yeah. shit. Oh, wow. like, that, that influence, man. That influence of, of Babylon the Great, man, you yep. see? Yeah, that's why Afghanistan, uh, what is it, Afghanistan, when they pulled the troops out of there, they, as soon as they did it, the same day they started getting everything back yeah. in order. They were like, shit, y'all wouldn't even sit your ass down. They was waiting on that They was waiting on it. Took them bitches out of school, eating yeah. the shit from yeah. yeah. the same culture. Yeah, 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 school, done. Well, all y'all got yeah. dropped out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Immediately got dropped out of school. Yep. And we see why, but the scriptures go back until, like it says, he oppresses the man and his heritage, yeah. man. You see? Yeah. Just, um, and, 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 and just more to that, uh, to add to the crown, uh, how that in, his influence, that influence uh, put throughout the four corners of the earth, which you can clearly see it. Look at these uh, these Asian cats, man. Yeah, yeah. They, that's not, it's not their custom to wear suit and ties. Nope. You know what I'm saying? They wear geese and, and, and different things of that nature, man. But, uh, but all these nations and people are, are, are dressing like the, the so-called white man, the yeah. Edomites, man. Yep. And, and the scriptures, just to add to that, the, the, the scriptures call this dude a green bay tree, man. You know what mm. I'm saying? And that's what a green bay tree does. It spreads, you know what I'm saying, when, when it grows. It spreads across things, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, he's that dude, man. Yeah, he try to push the, his democracy, freedom, you know, and, and, and uh, religion. You know, he's trying to pretty much establish his way throughout the whole planet Earth, man. And that's right. He's like he's like like the Bahan mentioned, man. Esau really be taking away culture from these people. Man. Like back then, like Japan, 
China, you know, they had their ways in their empire that they ruled a certain way, man, as well as these other nations. Right. And now look at them. What, what, what do you got to do? Or what's, the, what's the main language you got to deal with when it comes to, like, you know, anything international? English. You know what I'm saying? Esau set that up throughout the whole world. Throughout the whole world, man. I believe English is one of the main uh, languages languages they gotta learn. In, in oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a national language. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Be a yeah. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Be a pilot, you gotta become a. You gotta know. You gotta learn English. Yeah. You can only learn English. You can't be a pilot. Right. Yep. Why? Cause that's that's what. That's one of the main things that get that get you from A to B across the world. It's, a, it's an airplane. You know. Right. Yep. That's one of the things. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is uh, 2 Peter 2, verse 7, it says, And deliver just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Yeah, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, man. You see, and brothers, these brothers up here every day, you know, we, we, it's, it's a, it's a, <laughs> like the scripture saying, man, through, uh, what is it, Ecclesiastes is the one where it talks about the, through much wisdom, uh, 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 like, uh, a man get much oppression, you know, yeah, through, yeah, yeah. through uh, it brings sorrow, you know what I'm saying? Through much wisdom, roughly paraphrasing, man. Real quick, God grab it, bro. Through much wisdom, much, much sorrow? Yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's true, that's true, man. Because like, when it says that, you know, when you eat the whole roll, you know, it's going to be, it's going to taste, you know, sweet like honey. But then when it comes down, you know, to, you know, when you, when you swallow it, it's going to uh, uh, be bitter, man. That's it, one and 18. Yeah. One and 18. Okay, this uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 18, so like it says, for in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. Mm -hmm. You see, so when we, as soon as we got into this truth, but we didn't understand, man. We thought that this shit, this was life. You see, and when the Lord woke us every brother up at every you know every brother's individual point in his life that the Lord uh, you know set for. Him, you see, once you start coming into the truth, and you you start growing and maturing, you, you know, you see, you read the scripture, and you see how life is supposed to be. That shit, this shit gets depressing. America in this place, you got a tone. <clears throat> you can't be a fucking man in this place, man. America is about suppressing who you truly are, suppressing right. that nature, that uh, the natural nature that Yahweh Bashim Al Shah had put in us, man. You see, you got a fucking, you just crawling around like a fucking rat, man. Right. Yeah, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Hiding your phone from your chick, got to fucking passwords, right. all kind of shit, man. You can't really express how you feel. You know what I'm saying? You see the goddamn moles walking around. This nigga, nigga, bring you. But what, what, what would you like today? Thank you. It's like, you know, fruit loop ass nigga, just serving, bringing your food, man, cooking your food. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Teaching you, your children. You see, that shit, is, this place is oppressive, man. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, you gotta compromise with the world, man. That's yeah. bullshit. They won't compromise to, to you, man. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, you know, I, I feel you. I, 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 every brother feel what this brother is saying, man, because, you know, I was talking to the elder yesterday, and we was talking about, you know, just stuff that be going out throughout your daily life, whether it be at home or at work, or, or you know, you're just doing something throughout the day, man. You got to deal with these people, man. You got to deal with your, with your with, you know, whether it be with your wife, your kids. You got to be like, damn, like, you know, you be at the crib and, you know, you do, you know, you, you expect certain things to be done by certain people. And you gotta complain, cause like, man, what the hell? I gotta, you know, they tell you that, you know, they want me to do all of you. What, what are you doing? That they complain that you don't do enough. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, goddamn, like, so, 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 what are we, got, what are we doing here? You know, these people, you know, your family, they don't understand nothing, man. You know, so that's, you know, you want to curse them out so bad, but you can't, cause you know, they, they, you know, what's the point, right? right. It's a man, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, there's no point, you know, so that's why, that's why the brother, you know, the, the brother talking about, man, you got to compromise with the world, but the, the world won't compromise with you. Right. Yes. Yeah. Rock. Hey, that, that's Come like, uh, Come that's like, uh, uh, this is a world full of, uh, baby kids. Y'all used to watch that movie back in the day. Uh, they, it was a movie with, uh, they called Baby Kids. It was a cartoon. Oh, it's cartoon. Yeah, yeah. And, um, what, what about baby kids? That's that's like what Esau has set up with the nigga woman, you know, uh, having had raised a bunch of kids and having a house by herself, and she's all raising these badass kids. And when they grow up, grow up to being what you see today, through a period of time. You no, know, they're running around rampant, 
acting crazy, and he didn't put a set of system in up where you can't. Uh, the man is so beat down and, and so, like they bind up strong man. He's so we so bounded up in this world that we say some, we're going. You know, we look like the villains in in in, in the script. You know, we gotta go. We gotta go along with everything. But we basically we get into this truth. We're not we're not with the go along get along game. All right, we're basically gonna tell you when it's wrong, it ain't right. You know, through the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Yeah, people look at us as a bus light. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got some. First uh, Corinthians four thirteen, it says, "Being defamed, we entreat. We are made as the filth of the world, and and are the offscoring of all things unto this day." You know, just land back on the point. You know, here it is, we're bringing out, you know, a, a life, right, in the form of this truth, all right, and we're considered, you know, a, a bums, you know, the low of the low, you know, when in reality, it's really the opposite, yeah, right. you know, but it just shows you how, how fucked up this world truly is, you know, that shit, the Lord about to flip it though, man, you see, <clears throat> when, when, when society collapses, man, the Lord is about to flip the script, man, these same bums, these same low-level dudes, these same, these, get a job, bum. They make a love to walk by and say that, man. You right. see, these same people that they scoffing and mocking at, <clears throat> the Lord is like the scriptures say. <coughs> Damn. <clears throat> it's like, yeah, like the scriptures say, man, the Lord is going to make his man, uh, man more precious than fine gold, man. Right. You see? When all hell breaks loose, the man of the Lord is going to be, they're going to be seen to be that gold, man. You see? Because everybody, ain't nobody else going to have the answer. Ain't nobody else going to have the protection that the man of the Lord is going to have, man. You see? Scripture said that the righteous shall scarcely be saved, but the point of it is they're gonna be saved, man. You see, every situation, man, we're gonna be looking like, oh, it's the end. The other niggas are gonna be getting mowed down, but the Lord is gonna make a way for the elect to get out of it. Right. It's gonna be all the way until the point of salvation to get beamed up, man. You see? And that's why those seven women gonna wanna take hold of one man, man. Right. And I said a fourth <laughs> chapter. They gonna see that. They gonna clearly see all these niggas getting mowed down out here, and they gonna see those men of the Lord. These cats over here, though, they good. You know, I want to I wanna be good, too, so I'm going to go over and try to chill with them. Yeah. You know, can I be down? What do I have to do? And they're going to be willing to do whatever. And like the scriptures say, they're going to their own bread, their own clothes, yeah. everything. Own what what you bring to the table, man? Yeah. You know, yeah. basically. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have their own money. That's what it yeah. says. Everything. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, I just want your last name. So Lord will bless us to where the men that serve him will be in dire need, we'll have women coming up who got good jobs mm -hmm. support them, taking care of them. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. these times, yep. Yeah. Hey, I, I had, uh... <laughs> it ain't gonna be no big Shirley's. Exactly. Yeah, they don't know. Brothers gonna be picky as hell. Yeah, you I take the bitch food, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna do nothing with it, but go ahead, Rocky. Yeah, you and y'all might make it there. Yeah, I said food, yeah. yeah. ain't set up. You gonna clean that for you, though. <laughs> God, God. Yeah, but going like like I was saying, man, uh, I ran across this video on social media, man, of uh, uh, this show. It's called the I it's called the Island. It's something like Survivor, man. But they had it to where it was it was the man versus the woman, man. You see, they brought them to a certain point. They brought them close to the island, then they told them like, look, you have to all the stuff that you got, you got to get out and you got to swim to the island. You ain't gonna you got to make your own fire, you got to do all that. It shows, as soon as, it, as, soon as it, the dude told the women that, they started, well, how are we gonna, we gonna have, we're not gonna, we gonna have wet clothes, we're not gonna have a fire. Yeah. He said, this is gonna take hours. <laughs> and they say, you know, it switched the clip, they showed a the man in there that's playing the fucking, uh, playing the fucking 18 music. <laughs> 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 them niggas, them niggas starting fire. Yeah, for real. Them yeah, niggas yeah, got yeah, fire, yeah. them niggas got hella fish. Yeah. Bro, and the bitch was like, they switched back to the women. And she was like, well, we stay with it. Getting sick last night. We, we didn't make a fire. We didn't do up. We didn't do none of this. But hey, the Lord is about to slap these women with reality when society collapses, man. Yeah, they, they, at the end, they, they went. Yeah, they went over here to, to the, the man. man. Yeah. You see, uh -huh. that's gonna be the man. Uh -huh. <laughs> that hey, that's going back to the scripture. Hey, a man. These women are gonna know that they need a man. Right now, Esau got them under delusion, thinking they they independent. Right. Esau doesn't. Right now, they don't need a man to start a fire. They can just go and just hit the. They can hit the fucking heat thrown and they can. Right. They go to the grocery store and get food, but when this shit collapses, you're not gonna have it. it. And you ain't gonna and these women ain't gonna be able to do that, man. You see? Yeah, your convenience is going away, man. Yep. You know, along with your goodies. Your little trinkets and gadgets and goodies that, that this devil has been giving you, you know, your governor the government assistance, all that stuff is going away, man. Yep. Yep. And then when you get when you get brought to that lowest point, you know, that's when reality gonna set in. Yeah. You know, and we're gonna see what's up then. Keep that energy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because I 
It reminds me of Revelation 12 chapter where it goes at, into the woman being aided for a time, for the earth, or the earth had aided her for a time, you know, because that goes into what, uh, uh, you know, here in America, these women, you know, Israel, when they were really, the whole of Israel, man, they've been, they're being aided right now. Right. You know, they be uh, welfare. Protection. Right. Protect the cop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kids, but I, I just feel like uh, uh, child support. You know, oh, I, I got my food stamps. I'll get my food stamps in about three days. You know, I'll be good. You know, I'm saying I get, I get, I get a uh, support on rent. What is that called when they do yeah, Section eight. Oh, eight. section eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. yeah, that's right. I just said that. But yeah, section eight. You know, what I'm saying. So they look at these men and they say, well, I don't need this. I don't need it. I can do this. And that's going into that bond and the strong man. man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 uh, Esau did that crap on, on purpose, man. You know what I'm saying? To get, you know, he he give the, the woman, this, this is a queendom, man. This society is set up for women. Yeah. You know, men, men, it, it, we threw out here, bro. But these women, they in the, they in their kingdom right along with Esau, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he got them set up to where they get all this assistance and, and they, they can, you know, but you can't have a man in the house, which we kind of touched on that last night, you know, a little bit in, in the live lesson last night. You know, where he'll make the, uh, uh, the where the man gotta can't be in the house and, and give her this this big ass you know new brick ass home you know in this nice ass uh, uh, part of uh, uh, town and everything and not less than that bro I'm saying eight dollars man big ass brick home like nice bro like several bedrooms eight dollars a month I know it's one person that's why I'm speaking on because I know a person personally that and man you see the, the neighborhood there this nice neighborhood big big ass eight dollars a month bro eight dollars i'm serious <laughs> but the dude the dude he got which i know him personally he, he comes over there but he can't like stay there because they do it like like we went into them inspections and when they bring come in and they'll check everything he got to get all his shit out and then got to look like don't know about that he don't stay there you know what i'm saying but this is this, what he this is what this nigga did man but these women are gonna lose all of that, man. You know, hey, what's that in, uh, uh, is it Isaiah 32? Yeah, we got it right here. Oh, come that's the spirit. Go, you got it out. <laughs> this is uh, Isaiah chapter 32 and verse nine. It says, rise up ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Yeah, grab that word, ease. Like, what's the born into? Like, what's the born into, man? I'm very Esau has made this place comfortable and easy, you know what I'm saying, and, and lax for a woman. Everything is catered to her. Yeah. Right. If I'm not mistaken, metropolitan means like mother city. Yeah, yeah man. You see, so showing you it was all designed for the yeah. woman, man. Yeah. You see? Everything caters to her, man. You see, that's why they are at ease. You got that word, bro? Yeah. It's uh, Strong's H7700. Uh, uh, it says, Sha'anya. Sha'anya. It says, at ease, quiet, secure. Secure, man. These women are secure. They don't have no worries. Oh, nigga, I don't need you. Nigga, I got section eight. I got food stamps, nigga. Child support, nigga. You know, all these different, all these different trinkets in there. Yeah, and shit like that that Esau gives these women, man. You see? To the point to where they actually think that they don't need a man, but they about to come to the realization real soon that they've been tricked. They, they living a delusion, man. They're living in an alternate reality. <laughs> a made up, this is a land of pretend. Yeah, you in the fucking land of pretend, man. You see? And when the society goes out, when all these eases, when all these comfortabilities are taken away, a woman gonna realize that she needs a man. She gonna need protection, man. And all these same men that you talking about right now, a woman is talking shit to a man. You see, like the elder said, they got 911. They got protection. They got simps. Yep. Simps will walk up and you uh, will walk up and you don't know what this damn woman did. Yep. You know what I'm saying? A nigga walk up and try to save the bitch. Right. She weak as hell. Right. Nigga committed a dog this man, this man find out and he get slapping her ass. Yep. Nigga, you don't be getting no woman. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like bro. Yep. That's righteous judgment, man. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Hey, these niggas ain't forgotten, man. Right. It's gonna be a lot of judgment going on, man. Yep. This is like uh, <laughs> we look at different movies. These are uh, apocalyptic movies. Who be, uh, uh, at, 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 who be down and out the work? The damn women. They gotta stay off the streets. 
they got to look for someone to keep to take care of them, you know, because they just out here uh, about themselves and like you see today in today's society, whoa, they gonna get raped, rabbit, uh, get, you know, great, 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 uh, uh, rabbit, <laughs> you tell you that, you know, this is what things get real chunky and bad, like the damn uh, uh, devil just came up here earlier, talking about I'll, I'll beat you up. What the hell you gonna do when uh, I win? Because she, she, even though mother might be homeless, she still knows something happened. The Esau and, and his uh, police is, is with her. You know, got her back. But when, it's, uh, when things become loud, you ain't gonna have women coming up acting doing like that, acting like that. You get a mud hole or something. Yeah, let me say that too. I don't promote beating on them. No, we don't, we don't promote violence, man. No, you see? I can't, hey, but go ahead, brother. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 3, verse 15. These women take men kindness for weakness, man. Right. Yeah. You yeah. see what I'm saying? That's why they do what they do. Walk up to a man, slap him, he can't do nothing. Right. If a woman really see a man, in, if a woman see a man in the true element, like, you know, hack somebody up or something, mm -hmm. that bitch will get in line. Right. But they don't see that. Yeah. Because they used to us coming home, paying the bills, we being cool, being cordial. So they take them for granted, man. Yeah. When a man starts snapping and, and snap on your ass, go get your ass in line, man. Right. Yeah, I mean, you know? We, I mean, we just asked them. Instead of a, you know, a sack clock, it's going to be a, 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 a rent, a rent clock. It's like it. Right. 
And it says, Thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty men in the war, and, he, and her gate shall lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. You know, so it, it, when that time comes, man, they're going to see a lot of these uh, 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 people die, man, and right in front of them. And that's going to put the fear in them to what? To find a man that, they, that, 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 that can save them. If the elder was going into it. Yep, that's gonna be the man of the Lord, man. Like the brother God was saying, man, but a brother's gonna be chosen, man. You see? The Lord's gonna put the he gonna hey man, he gonna <laughs> that a father's gonna be an eye for him. Right. You see, right now the woman got the ball. You see? She had Esau is allowed to give her the power, man. You see, she had to say something like that. Hey man. And that's gonna be a beautiful day, man. That time is coming, man. You see? That time is coming real soon, but uh, brother got no who that's uh, back in uh, Second Ezra, uh, Second Ezra nine. I'm sorry, it's like Second Ezra, Ezra two, and verse. I started verse 30, 35. It says, "Be ready to the reward of the kingdom, for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore." Yeah, be ready for the kingdom, man. That's what we try. That's what we prepare to do right now, man. You see, trying to stay on our toes, trying to continue to watch. All right. Take the, uh, the necessary steps that we need to fix it. Hey, man, hopefully we'll get to the end, man. You see? Make sure we're not offending brothers, you know what I'm saying? Living this truth, man. Living the scriptures, man. It's more than just saying, I believe. No, you have to actually live this, man. Not just when you're around brothers. You got to believe You got to. You got to believe this in your uh, individual walk, when you at work. How you deal with people in the world. You got to You gotta uh, do it according to the scriptures, man. The angels are constantly watching you. Right. Verse 35. I mean, verse 36. Be ready, uh, flee the shadow of the of this world. Let me read that again. Second Ezra is two and thirty-six. Flee the shadow of this world. Yeah, what's all to be a shadow? A shadow is a cover, man. You know, you see, just like in the scripture says, talking about a man shall be a, a covering that day. You know what I'm saying? A shadow is a covering, man. Right. A covering from the heat. You know what I'm saying? So we, hey, we leave this shadow out. And every day we're doing it more and more, man. We're chipping off this world. So we've been in the world longer than we've been in the truth, man. Right. So we got a lot of washing, man. This word is just this is what washes us, man. You see, ultimately the blood of your house are, but you know what I'm saying? Constantly immersing ourselves in these scriptures, man. You see? Like uh, what uh, Khan just mentioned, like uh, Esau, his, his, uh, his waves is his, 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 uh, spread like a green bay tree. But what did that do? Give you uh, his cover. His philosophy, his ways, and the Lord has pulled us out of that, his cover, his shadow. That's what it goes into. Flee, uh, flee this world, the shadow of this world. Because this world is going to be uh, purified. It's going to be taken, uh, uh, Esau is going to be taken off the helm of the rulership. Because this is his world. We got to flee from it. Spiritually, and then the Lord, uh, uh, what is that in uh, Micah 2 and 10, and then Revelation 18 and 4, the Lord is going to actually remove us physically, or the elect. The Lord will with those men. And what ultimately is another world, man? See, what does it have to offer? Well, this this world has nothing but sin to offer, man. Right. You see, everywhere in this place, man, it's supposed to tell you to flee from sin as you flee from the other place of the circle. Mm -hmm. You see, that's what that world represents, man. Right. See, sin, man. You see, because that's all this person promotes, man. You know, it promotes the flesh. It promotes doing corn uh, carnality, man. You see, doing what you want to do. You see? Going back into the scripture, man, you feel that's why a uh, friendship in the world is enmity with the most high, man. That right. makes you an enemy of the, of the Lord if you if you if you for this world. Right. There's uh Flee the shadow of this world, receive the joyfulness of your glory. Yeah, jump down to like 20. Go back like 20 something. Go back to like 20. Others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Yeah, so be not worried, man. The Lord is telling us <coughs> He's gonna be the one to bring it. <coughs> but don't be scared, man. Right. You see, the Lord is gonna be with this elect, man. You see, the Lord is Lord willing, we are there for part of that number, man. The Lord is gonna be with us when all these things, man. Right? God and us through, like it says in 2 Samuel chapter 16, man. You see, why everybody else, our sons only one is also a good chapter, man. Now you, you should be speaking victory, man. You see, the scriptures say life and death are in the tongue. So what are you speaking? Are you speaking death upon yourself or are you speaking victory, man? Right. The scriptures say that the elect got the victory, man. They, shall, they, they overcame by the blood, you see? 
the scripture's talking about this, this nigga Esau is gonna lose, man, and the elect is gonna win, man. You see, so speaks victory into your life, man. Don't speak death, man. You see? Verse 28. He said, the heathens shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing yeah, against thee. Hey, that goes into these actual heathen, and that goes into two-thirds of the nation of Israel, man. Because them niggas is heathen. When you keep reading, it's gonna talk about the heathens again, but it's going into Israel, man. It's going to it said the Lord, my hand shall cover thee, so that uh, thy children shall not see hell. Yeah, you see, so even your children are going to be protected, man. Even if you're not with them, even if you're separated from them. You see, the Lord is still going to have a hands around your uh, around your children, man. You see, you got to believe that, though, man. You see, you got to have faith in the Lord, man. I mean, you already doing it right now when you take your children to school. When you take your children to daycare, you ain't with them. So who protected them? Right. Yeah, how about shit, man? Was shot, man. Yep. That's why it's important. Before you leave your house, man, like Amen. the apostle Rakal, yeah, like the other said, man, the apostle Rakal put that all the time. As soon as you crack your eyes open, you see something. Why do y'all about shit, man? Was shot. That should be the first thing you fucking say. Yep. But why do y'all about shit, man? Was shot. It's a blessing me to, to see another day and to push forward this ministry, man. The water for keeping out, you know, the water for your still being on, still being on me, man. You see, once you once you do your prayer, you know, you get up, you get ready. Before you leave your house, pray over your children, man. If you right. can, anoint them. See, like I said, you already doing that right now, man. You already, you, you, the Lord is already protecting our children, man. We're not with them. We at work. You see, brothers at work, you doing everything. Your children at school, anything, anything can fucking happen. We see it all the time, man. Children go missing. Somebody get kidnapped walking home. We see the shit all the time, man. All these goddamn Amber Alerts. Big, big. It's going off with the bro. Right. But what are your children? Your children protect them. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you got to believe that, man. Right. Good. 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 It says, uh, my hands shall cover thee, verse 30, I mean, verse 29. My hands shall cover thee so that thy children shall not see hell. Hey, man, because we get ready to see miracles, man. Yeah. We get ready to see divine intervention, man. I was uh, reading the story in, uh, what is it, First, first Kings, uh, I think it was First Kings chapter 17, if I'm not mistaken, going into where Elijah, and the Lord had told Elijah to, to, to go to a certain a certain place, man, told him, uh, you know what I'm saying, and he ended up going and meeting this widow in a certain city, man. And she didn't have nothing. When he walked, when he met her, she was going to get some, I guess, like some water to make the last little, little cake with the flour that she had, man. And she, and, and uh, Elijah told her, "Look, make me a cake. You got, you got that? Make me a cake first, and then make one for you and your son. And the Lord is gonna provide. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord did. The Lord, the Lord provided for them for through what? I think it was three years, man. Three years, man. That famine in the land happened, man. Every day the Lord would witness that joy." You know what I'm saying? He didn't give him no big ass boy. If the, 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 the nigga seen that, nigga go, whoa, that nigga's awesome. You know what I'm saying? The Lord just kept on, they go back. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's full, boom. You know what I'm saying? We can ready to see miracles like that. Right. Our Lord Yahweh shot, man. Yahweh shot did miracles himself, man. He fed thousands of people, man. You think the Lord ain't gonna, you think the Lord ain't gonna provide for his man in the time? Uh, the time to come when all hell breaks loose? You see? That's what we had to hope for. These people ain't got nothing to hope for. That's why they gonna go with the new system that Esau's getting ready to set up, man. Right. All right. That's why they gonna get to see him, man. You see, they ain't gonna. They, they don't understand. They don't believe in the miracle. Wow. Right. 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 Real quick before you read that, I, that's why the scriptures. That's one of the reasons that uh, the scriptures say, "Blessed is he that readeth," man. Because when you read in Romans the uh, uh, the fifteenth chapter, it goes into that how how these the things that were written before time was written for our learning to give us comfort, roughly paraphrasing, man. You know what I'm saying? So just like the con is going into a, a particular uh, account in, in the ancients that happened, you know, we read those things and, and that gives us comfort because we have belief and faith that the Lord said he did it then, he's going to do it again, man, that these things are going to happen in these times for us. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, the Lord had a raven feeder. Yep. 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 Constantly bringing the food, bro. Yep. You think the Lord can't do that for you and these times we're coming into? We don't need that. We don't need the Lord. No, we don't need divine intervention, man. Yeah. Especially with the system that Esau is trying to set up. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to. It says in Revelation 13, you ain't gonna be able to do nothing unless you got that that new way that He's trying to bring forth, man. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. I got something. Isaiah chapter uh, 44 and verse <laughs> 8. It says, "Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have I not told thee from that time, and have declared it? Ye are even my witnesses." Is there any power beside me? Yea, there is no power, I know not any. You know, and the, and the point on that is the beginning of the verse. You know, uh, fear ye not. You know, and that's a that's really, a, <laughs> that's a commandment. You know what I'm saying? Ma uh, meaning, uh, have faith. You know, and the scriptures say, you know, uh, what is that, uh, 2 Timothy? Uh, we have not received the spirit of fear. You know, so you should be in the uh, mentality of, uh, 
you know, seeing all the different ways that the Lord can deliver you. You know, not the not the opposite. You know, especially if, especially if you the Lord's servant, He calls you to walk upon His path, and you doing it to the best of your ability. The Lord not gonna just uh, overlook that. Yeah. Because right here it says Psalms 27 and 8. In the NLT, it says, "My heart has heard you say, come and talk with me.'" Your heart's talking about your mind. The Hebrew word "law" means your mind. So the Lord talked to all of us. So my heart, our mind, has heard you say, "Come and walk with me. Come and talk with me." Because it said in Jeremiah that when you hear a word behind thee saying, "Go this way, go that way," that's the Lord talking to you, suffer with you, right? It said, "My heart," Psalms 27 and 8. My heart has heard you say, "Come." and talk with me and my heart respond lord i am coming so the lord called us just, we got so the lord called us now we responded and it says this it said do not turn your back on me do not reject your servant in anger you have always been my helper my helper don't leave me now don't abandon me oh lord my salvation because we hearkened to the words of the lord we are here doing the work that he told us to do if we stay to the end, he got to help us, man. Because it says, said, do not turn your back on me. Do not reject your servant in anger, man. You got to go, you got to serve to get that protection and be part of the elect to endure to the end. Okay. You think, of, think about it carnally, man. A man ain't going to do nothing for a woman of this shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't doing nothing for me. Well, I'm going to step out. I'm going to protect you. What you doing for me? You got to do something in order to earn that protection, man. That's good. I got something real good in the back of the corner. Isaiah 43 and verse 1, it says, but now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not. For I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. And when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Going into those different trials and tribulations, man. You see, yeah. these different situations that we're getting ready to go through, that we're going through now. You see, because the Lord is with brothers now when they're going through their different trials. You see, when they're going through that water, that the water represents them to the uh, tribulation and uh, persecution. You see, fire does as well, man. You see, and they can be literal too, man. You see, brothers may have to go with them. You know what I'm saying? That Esau may try to throw brothers into a fucking fire, just like they did Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, man. Just like they're trying to throw them into a the fucking fire, man. But it won't kill them before. You gotta believe. If you don't believe that, man, it's not gonna happen for you, bro. If you don't believe that, the belief, like it says, it's impossible to please the heavenly Father, man. Right. You can be doing all this, but you don't have faith. You can't please Him, man. That's right. You see, you have to believe, man. You see, and you got niggas out there, man. You got Israelite camps out there who scoff and mock at uh, miracles, man. Yep. You see, scoff and mocking at uh, the, 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 the return of the Howard shot, saying the chariot is saying, "That's fantasy. That's fantasy." Nigga saying, "Bro." Just when one body said that y'all, your house out coming back on the chariot is expansive. You don't believe the scriptures, bro. Right. The scriptures say that. Right. What are you talking about? Uh, we got a quick one just to back you up. Uh, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 1. It says, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Lord, and there shall no torment touch them. And the hey, side of the. And that goes into, hey, man, you, the scriptures talk about mourners, right? Being mourners, some brothers make it. Some believers may be killed for this. <coughs> but it says, uh, read that one more time. Now, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 1. It says, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Lord, and there shall no torment hey, touch them. Hey, don't worry if you were my hand. I got you. You a good kid. You see, what well, we the, the, the souls of the, uh, the righteous are in the Lord's hand, man. You see? Yeah, like Psalms 91, you know. The, 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 you got it? Mm -hmm. Want to bring it up? Yeah. This is Psalms 91. And, uh... It says, uh, this is Psalms uh, chapter 91 and uh, verse 9, and it reads, Because thou hast made the Lord, Yahweh Shai, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. To keep thee in all thy ways. Hey, we about to see a lot of plagues. You saw already talking about it. Disease X. Yep. He already put that. So we about to see some shit, man. All it's gonna be all through the spirit of the other. It's gonna be all the Lord orchestrating. He's, he's gonna use Esau. Esau is his sword, man. Yep. See, he's Esau. He's gonna use his, uh, Esau as, as, his, as his weapon, man. Yep. See, and these different pestilence out there, man. They're not gonna be able to touch the the, the uh, elect, man. Right. 
Yeah, just like you know, the guy I mentioned earlier, you know, way before uh, earlier in this, in this uh, lesson, of, you know, uh, Proverbs the third chapter, you know, when we were talking about you know, lean not into thy own understanding, trust in the Lord, and He shall direct thy paths. You know, so when stuff like that happens, man, whether it be a you know the, the, another you know uh, epidemic or, or some kind of crazy virus or or, or Esau coming down. Or, or laying the hammer down, you know, and, and martial law, whatever it is, you know, say trust in the Lord and He's going, you know, He's going to help you maneuver through those times, man. You know, so yeah, like the like the Kahana and Mitchell, man, some brothers are going to be martyrs, you know, some brothers are going to be took, and then there's going to be brothers out there, you know, they're going to be out in the wilderness, you know, whether, you know, you know whatever the Lord has put the situation put you in, man. Right. You just got to trust that, that. It was the, you know, the best, you know, pretty much the best scenario you could be in because you have that trust in the Lord, man. You know, imagine you, you, you know, you got a brother in the can, you know, in the sea camps. I don't want to say, that. I don't want to say that word in case. I don't know if you got that one, but you know, in the sea camps, or or if he got you out in the wilderness, or if he got you in jail, in prison somewhere, or you know, hey, man, I, you know, I would hate for brothers to be. You know, put to death, but you know, it's, it's more to the, you know, to the to the word of the Lord. But you know, He got you in those things, man. Like we have mentioned the wisdom of Psalm the third chapter, man. No torment shall touch thee, man. Right. So maybe you know, Lord willing, you you in that situation where you're gonna be put to death, but it might be quick. Right. You know, you might you know, hey, you got any last words? Yeah. You know, you're oh, about shit, you know. What I'm he can cut your nervous system off. We don't feel shit. He can do point of the Lord can do anything, man. He says, man, nothing, man. It's impossible. It's impossible with the Lord, man. Right. You see? Like just going his back and then point up. Yeah, you're man. Shit. I mean, bro, that you gotta have that. You gotta, bro. What else we gonna hope for, man? Yeah. I have that. I have that right here. Uh, Jeremiah 32, verse 17. It says, O sovereign Lord, in the NLT, you made the heavens and earth by your strong and powerful arm. Nothing is too hard for you, you know. So, just, so anything that you can conjure up in your mind, man, it ain't hard for the Lord. You know, say so if the Lord wanted to, you know, what I'm saying He could, you know, He could just manifest something out of nowhere, something crazy. You know, what I'm saying if He wanted to, why? Because it's not hard. It's nothing hard for the Lord. He's not gonna do it. You know, what I'm saying just to do it, but you know, just to make the example, man. The more, hey, you. There'll be some brothers that might be put to death and then the Lord might deliver them, you know? Or you might be in the wilderness to a situation where like you've been eating for, for, for a few days, all of a sudden, you know, the food is provided, you know? And it's happened, it's happened in the scrolls, man. So that's why, what's that scripture that says that, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, we read these things for our learning. Romans uh, 13, 15. Situation, man. You gotta believe, you gotta believe, man. You yep. see? I got one real quick. Sirach 24 and 4. Faint not to be strong in the Lord that he may confirm you, meaning keep you stable. Right? Cleave unto him, for the Lord Almighty is power alone, and besides him, there is no other Savior. Mm. Like you said, where should you go? Yeah, yeah. There's no so so we gotta stand firm and believe in. That, he, that he's dealing with us, man, that he's able to deliver us, man. He said, Frank, not, you know, right. be strong in the Lord because there's no other Savior. Who else you going to pray? All this time you've been doing the work, who else you going to pray to? I don't know, though. No, there's no other God, so you ain't got no choice. Right. Like the Lord going to get us, he's going to get us out of here to take a trouble and do it for you. You got it. I'm out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's been doing, he's been with us this whole time, brother, been going through shit. Man. You know what I'm saying? But it is all training, man. The Lord is showing us right now. So why would we doubt when we get into the biggest test? 
The Lord's showing us right now that he is, man. Just keep believing until the more, you know? Right. You got to. You got to. So Isaiah 49 and uh, verse 13, it says, Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. For the Lord has comforted his people and will have mercy upon his affliction. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me, and my Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget his suckling child? Well, like, can a woman forget her suckling child? That she should not have compassion on the son and of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet I will not forget. Behold, I have graven thee upon thy palms of my hand. Thy walls are continually before me. Hey, the Lord, like I said, he's a uh, uh, graven, bro. That's what the Lord said. They are, uh, we are, they are thine and thine of mine going to the elect. But just Israel as a whole, the Lord said that we have made, he have made a covenant with thee. All right, a forever, an everlasting covenant. It goes from Abraham, Isaac, and unto Jacob. All right, and until that, those branches of what? The 12 tribes. All right? The Lord said he will not forget about thee. He's going to He's gonna remember thee. And like uh, just like in the time of uh, Egypt, uh, they thought the Lord forgot about them. Then all of a sudden, like say, they heard, the Lord said, I heard, he told uh, uh, Moses, I heard, I hear that I heard the cries of my people. And what did he do? He delivered them. Same thing is going to happen through uh, uh, this uh, second Egypt, Sodom and Egypt. The Lord hearing our cry. Now he's here now. He's hearing the cries through the four corners of the earth. But here in Babylon the Great, he said what? I hear your cries. I'm going to deliver you out of Sodom and Egypt. Shit, you gotta, you know, just look at the story of Joseph. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When Joseph was cast into prison, man, uh, he was in prison like two years, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, during that time, man, you know he was praying to the Lord. Man, Lord, please get me out of here. He was probably playing the whole, praying the whole time, man. Then the Lord sent those, uh, uh, the, the, the bakers, and then uh, they cut the, the cup bearer, you know what I'm saying? And then he, he interpreted their dreams, and uh, uh, he told them, like, look, bro, when you get out, man, put a, tell Pharaoh, man, put a word in, bro. I got you, know how a nigga be. Nigga be there, like, I got you, bro. I don't remember you, bro. Right. Nigga, they, nigga, they all out. As soon as you get out the door, they're going to forget about you. You know what I'm saying? So you got to imagine Joseph, like, like, yeah, I know him before, but get me out of here. Nope, two more years. Yeah. But the Lord never abandoned Joseph. Well, he was with Joseph the whole time. Joseph, he had to wait. It was a particular time that the Lord wanted him to be out, but the Lord didn't abandon Joseph, man. Right. You see? The Lord's timing is perfect. But when, when he got him out, he got lifted up to the highest position. Right. The second highest position of the Pharaoh, bro. You see? So sometimes you need to try the tribulation of the Lord to be like, damn, man. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't that time, bro. You don't want to get out of it, uh, be the chill, man. You see, before you actually have time to develop, you know what I'm saying? The Lord wanna teach you to learn that lesson that the Lord wanted you to actually get, man. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to say it. You got it? Got it. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a, you know, it's just a, it's a hard thing to understand when you're in the world, man, to, to be patient, you know, to suffer. You know, yeah. For these people, they want things now, you know, and they want, you know, they say, well, if I pray to the Lord right now, you should still be in like 0.2 seconds. You know what I'm saying? But that's not how, that's not how it works. And that story of Joseph, man, that's a, that's a really good story, too, man. Because, like the, the Hanan mentioned, man, after he got out, man, he was raised up next to Pharaoh. And even the people that were, uh, you know, when he was working for the, what was it, for the captains, one of the captains looked at him and said that, that he looked at Joseph and he said he, pro he, he prospered because of Joseph. You know what I'm saying? So they noticed, so they see, man, I, I need this guy here because we... We're prospering because of this man right here. There's something about this man that's making us, you know, you know uh, be good because of this guy. You know? Yeah, the Lord was with him. But then, uh, you got it? You, 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 yeah, I have a quick one. Uh, Romans 8 and 35 in the NLT, it says, Can anything ever separate us from Hamashiach's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity? or are persecuted, or are hungry, or destitute, or in danger, or threatened with death. As the scriptures say, for your sake we are killed every day, we are being slaughtered like sheep. And then this is, the, the point was in verse 37, you know what I'm saying? Because as brothers are going into, just because we, basically the scripture is saying, basically because we go, for, go through particular things, all right, does that mean that the Lord has forsaken us? All right, and here's the answer. Verse 37, it says, no. 
despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Hamashiach who loved us. You know, so that that's the point. You know, we're we're, we're the son. If we're hoping to be the sons of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, there's going to be chastening involved. You know, but that's actually a token of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah's love for us. Right. You know. I can think too, um, hey, you see how, like I said, um, uh, those are the fathers. You gotta think about, uh, uh, Abraham, you know? Abraham, like, they, uh, he had spirit on him, and then, when, uh, the, even the people around him, they prospered, you know? I want to pull this right quick, man. Uh, this is James 1, uh, chapter 1, verse 2 of the MSG. It says, Consid uh, consider it a uh, sheer gift. Friends, when tests and challenges come at you from all sides, you know that under pressure your faith, uh, your faith life is forced into the open and shows its true colors. Uh -huh. So don't try to get out of anything prematurely. Yeah, see, when you get the trials, you see the situation that we're going through, don't try to get out of it prematurely, man. See, sometimes we pray to the Lord, man, that the Lord take this, take this away, and the Lord don't do it, man. You see, because it's not time yet, you see. The Lord, we still have something to learn uh, through that particular test, man. You see, even Yahweh Shai himself, he, he prayed for the Lord to take that cup away, man. You see, he prayed three times for the Lord to, uh, to take the cup away, and the Lord didn't, man, because he had to go through this particular thing. You see, he had to go through the cross. He had to endure the cross in order to get that glory, man. But the Lord did send an angel to strengthen him, man. You see, going back into the scriptures, where the Lord said he's not going to push you, he's not going to push you past your, your limits, man, but he's going to give you a way to escape. He gonna he, he gonna he gonna send an angel because like I said, the Howard sent the angel to the Howard shine and gave and strengthened him, man. You know see? Keep going, bro. Hey, also the Lord sent them help. The men that can't help with the cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was heavy, man. You know? Yeah, I knew, I knew it was right. He got it. Yeah, you got to go ahead, right? Yeah. Let it do its work. Sometimes it so you become mature and well-developed. You see, so let it do its work, man. You see, don't try to get out of it prematurely. Right. Sometimes, like I said, sometimes we do, we, we, you know what I'm saying? We're like, damn, boy, please. You know, it might be, it might, you know, some tests drag out, you know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. For, for, for a period of time, man, you be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? But the, you try to get out of it, but the Lord, he not answering you. Because he wants you to go through this for you to learn this. Yo, uh, read that last one again, bro. And it says, let it do, it, let it do its work. Yeah, so let that test do its work, man. So what? So you become mature and well developed. You see, so you your faith can become your faith can become true, uh, well. Nah, it says let it do its work, so you become mature and well developed. Mature not, and well developed, man. Right. You see, not deficient in any way. Yeah, not lacking, man. You see, that's what the Lord. That's what these tests too. So count it joy. Sometimes. Man, let me <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know it in the, in the flesh it don't feel good, but it has a particular reason why the Lord put us through these things, man. You see, and ultimately that's gonna build us up. That way we may be able to uh, we may be able to endure the change, right? Yeah, yeah, just like a, when a baby in the womb of a, you know, a woman, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Uh, you know, when a woman or when a baby is is, is being developed in a, in a woman's yeah, womb. You know what I'm saying? You, you're supposed to wait until it's, it's time for it to be, you know, born. Right. And then you got, you know, Esau got those methods and those, you know, different injections that he puts in women so they can born, can, baby can come out earlier or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you're supposed to wait, you know, you're supposed to wait it out or else you're going to have those defects. You know, if a baby born prematurely might suffer uh, uh, some kind of illness. Yeah, it's not going to, it's not going to, it's a new system, not going to be right. You know what I'm saying? It has to, it has to stay on the green in order for it to, for it to develop. Yeah. You see? When it come out, it's going to be weak. Yeah, it's not going to be, it's going to be hard for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I mean, no, you said that, that, that's the good, that's the point you want. Yeah. Hey, can you grab that real quick, bro? Yeah. So, First Peter chapter 4, and verse 12, in the MSG, it says, Friends, when life gets really difficult, don't jump to the conclusion that the Most High isn't on the job. Yeah, boom, see? Don't think when you go through something the Most High ain't on the job. He's working. Right, see? He's working through every situation. It may look like it, like, damn, man, this shit that you trying, it ain't, go, ain't nothing going through, but the Lord is working, man. You see? You going? It says, instead, 
be glad that you are in the very thick of what Hamashiach experienced. This is a spiritual refining process with glory just around the corner. Oh, you see, the glory Ooh. just around the corner, man. You see? And that, that glory is really, literally just around the corner, man. It's coming, bro. It's coming, man. We close. We just got to stay. We just got to stay in this thing, man. You right. see, then we're we going we gonna to be able to rule what our Lord and Savior shot, man. We're going to be joint heirs. We're going to be gods, man. We're going to get the new bodies, man. You gonna get all, all everything that you want. You gonna give the Lord said He's gonna give you your heart's desire. But anything you want in righteousness, man, and you ain't gonna be able to go on. You ain't gonna go on. Everything you want, you gonna get, and it's gonna be a righteousness. Man. Right. You can't beat that, man. So, yeah, I'm just gonna add to the to the point uh, <clears throat> because uh, you know the men of the Lord, they're that gold, man. You know what right. Saying? And gold has to go just like you said, that, that, that refining process, you know, of all those. Uh, what is it that, that has to come out of those uh, impurities yeah. have to be uh, 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 burnt, uh, burnt out, man. So this is uh, Ecclesiastes of Rock, chapter 2, and verse 4. It says, whatsoever is bought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient. Patient, Patience means to suffer, man. Suffer through it. Right. It says, be patient when thou art changed to a lower state, those things that you're going to go through. And the, the, the con just uh, uh, mentioned that the Lord is going to be there. He's working. It says, for gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, man. And, and that word adversity literally means misfortune, man. You know what I'm saying? So when you're going through something, you know, understand that it's the Lord, man. You know, and he's refining his gold, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's that process. So like Khan said, you can't uh, 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 try to get out of it prematurely. All the impurities have to be, uh, 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 you know, pur purged out of you, bro. You know, that's a process of time, man. Yeah, that's you know what I'm a, saying? That's a perfect example, too. And they uses that for a reason, because when in a, you know, a smith state, they they uh, uh, they're, they're making a sword. You know, they wait for the metal to, to you know, uh, certain metal to get to a certain heat, and then and then what they do, man, they refine that metal. You know, so they're not gonna, you know, it has to get to that certain temperature for for, for them to be able to to, to, to mold it. Right. You know, to, to you know, get it to where they need it. Right. Then they, what they what do they do? They dip it in the water, pull it down, and then what? Heat it up again, make sure that it's nice and strong, man. Fire that water. No, no, no. no. Ah, that's right. right. You know, you got to go through that process, man. I no. mean, you if you try to skip skip a step or, or take the sword out prematurely to where you're not you know you're not being patient, you know, even in the midst of battle, that it could break. Right. Right. Yeah. You know? Yep. Through then. Yep. Yeah. Over. <laughs> That's why so the hell we go through the Lord is take away that dross from us. Because mm -hmm. the Lord speaks about different metals, silver and gold. Yep. So it says this Proverbs 25 and 5, it says take away the no no so like broken. 25 Proverbs 25 and 4. Take away the dross from the silver, and there shall come forth a vessel for the finer. Right. So we got to come that pierced vessel, the finer is your house shot. Right. That's why we go through these things, take away the draws from us. We got to be, it says, come forth as a vessel for the refiner, I mean, for the finer, man. Yep. So the hell we go through is this purifying to take away the draws from us. So that way we can be acceptable in the day to the Lord, man. Right. Well, that was it. It's Matthew 6 and 30. It says, What for if your house shot so close the grass of the field? which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or whether withal shall we be clothed? See, that Lord, like I said, the Lord is our purifying us, he's refining us, for what? For he's building up us, building us up with faith, all right? Building, up, building us up with things we haven't been through or seen yet, you know, like I said, we go through our, our, our adversities and, and different ailments as what we, you know, like as today. The Lord, uh, like I said, give us those things to go through for the big, uh, the big event of Jacob's trouble. You know, where we can have that faith and build up to know, like, damn, I haven't ate in a couple of days. Lord, we have faith. The Lord is gonna, be, hey, he goes uh, when it's time to eat. The Lord is gonna give us something to eat. You know, he probably had nothing to drink. The Lord is gonna give us something to drink. The Lord is gonna be covering us in those times, and we have to believe it. We don't have faith. In these times that's coming, we ain't had nothing. Let me say this too, man. Shit. 
just thank the Lord for what you've done now, man. You know what I'm saying? I know we, we can always have more brothers going to be a debt, particular debt, and owe this and owe that bills and this shit. You know, you can be like, damn, man, I need, I need, you know what I'm saying? The yeah. shit. Lord, I need, I need to do the Lord. Lord, no, but shit, thank the Lord for what you got. It could yep. be worse. You know what, Lord, thank you. The water. The water, I got, I got somewhere to stay. Yep. I got, I, I can get the water for my job. I got my daily bread. You know what I'm saying? It's always something that you never forget to thank you. Right. Thank the Lord for what you got, man. Even though you're going through some shit, even though you need some shit, thank the Lord, thank the Lord for what you got right, yep. right then and there, man. You see? Man, I want to go out to dinner, but the Lord put this, got some chicken in the freezer. Lord bless you with saying? that. Hey, that's something neat. I mean, I want a new car. Man, damn, man. You see that 2024 charger, man? Yeah. Damn, man. But you got to do your You can drive a Nissan. Yeah. Through. You know, hey, thank you, though. I, I got transportation. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I can go to work. I can go to camp. The water, Lord. Right. You can bike at night. Words, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You got to use a bike at night. Shit, man. Yeah. It can always be work. We always got something. Thank you, Lord. I feel you. I always look at it. Uh, I always think about it. If I, so if I was in the world and I became rich, First of all, Carl gets a Ferrari F40. You know, so. Like, look at him putting that video on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that shit dope. You know what I'm saying? But hey, but I get a Ferrari F40 on uh, Forza Horizon shit. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I got a car. I'm fine. But uh, hey, I just I just like like the car. It's, you know, I, I don't need it. You know what I'm saying? I think, you know, like you were saying, man. Why y'all watching me shut for what I have? I got so many food around. You know what I'm saying? You know. I'll, I'll, I'm content with the F40 on 4s and 5s, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Be content. Yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, yeah, that's right. Be content. Near the end, you're going to get something better than a right. Ferrari. Uh, oh, you're going to get a cherry. You're going to get a new body, a God body. Right. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Psalms, 100 and, uh, Psalms 100, verse 4, it says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And enter his courts with praise, be thankful unto him, and bless his name. You know, and and you know, entering into the gates, that that there alone, you know, is a blessing. You know, because ultimately the gates ain't open to everybody. <laughs> you know, They're just just being invited, you know, uh, into this truth is a, is an honor within itself. You know, so everything else really is just icing on the cake. You know, so be thankful. You got it. Right, man. At the end of the day, you know, we we in the positions we're in, and we have we have a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't have spiritual powers because really we would abuse them. You know, if we weren't if we weren't in the truth. You know, or maybe even if you were in the truth, hey, you might you know first you choke somebody out, and then now you you know what I'm saying? Not saying that that would happen. I just you know. Yeah. You know, we just joke around, but you know, still, you know, we 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 have what we have and, and, and brothers should be content. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, you know, brothers, you know, uh, they, they have that security because they can say, well, you know, something might happen and brothers are help, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, and that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good thing to, to have, too, man, you know, uh, to, to be able to have that spiritual support as well. You know, so, so the Lord, man, you know, Lord willing, you know, we can endure to the end. And, you know, I hope every brother, I'm with, you know, that everybody could make it without anything happen, but it's not up to it's not up to me, man. It's up to the Lord. The Lord, yes. Please ask these four in verse uh, in verse eight. It says. Okay, Slack in verse nine. It says two are better than one because they have good reward for their labor. Labor, for if they fall, the one will uh, lift the, lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he have not another to help him up. Say woe to the brother you know, they fall on hard times, damn brother. Uh, these brothers, you know, brothers can help. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, brother, but I'm, I'm showing these brothers, brothers help me out, brothers. Shoot, shoot the cash out. Boom. Right. This brotherhood is definitely a, 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 a treasure, man. See, 
this is gonna show this gonna show even more, man, how special it is when we come to the time of taking trouble, man. We're gonna have some of these people on the back, man. See, they are already backstabbing and, and, and doing each other like this. These things these things can be raised together, man. Right. They can be brothers, man. Look, brother, actual blood brothers be doing each other dirty. Yep. Sleeping with each other women. Yep. See, you don't have that amongst this brotherhood, man. Yep. See, this it's a standard here, man. See? And it's gonna shine more and more as we get closer, man. And it's gonna it's really gonna shine in the time of Jeff and Struggle, man. Yep. Yep. And that goes, that's to you camp bashers too, man. You know what I'm saying? That you, you that have a problem with camps, you know what I'm saying? Well, the brother just read it, man. You know, two is better than one, man. You know what I'm saying? That's a camp, you know? If it's only two of you, that's a camp, man. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's help, you know? Brothers can go to each other if we need something, man. You know what I'm saying? You by yourself, something happens, who you got? It's just you, yeah. you know? Try to call your family, man. Yeah, man, I ain't getting, man, I ain't getting nothing. It's too late. Yeah, you call your family. You're too far away. Yeah, we wet. All right, man. Just be in your location. Exactly. Just be on that way, man. Yup. See, you know, our own families don't do that for us, man. Right. right. You see? So, yep. hey, help, help, you, help you people who talk about it, who talk shit about camps. Yeah, man. exactly. See? And even amongst even amongst these other camps, man, they, ain't got, they don't got what we're best on guy. Right, right. They don't got what we're best on guy, man. Them niggas, they, they, they niggas, man. Yo, man you can clearly see this yo. nigger, this niggerism going on up in that shit. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, but thus minded, and if any, uh, uh, slack it, and if in anything ye be otherwise minded, Yahweh shall reveal unto us, unto you. Nevertheless, whereunto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. Hey, so we're walking on, uh, like you say, we all have our walk, we under that one accord. But we strive for what? Being delivered. He's striving for that uh, uh, salvation. And there's no, other, uh, uh, there's no other salvation but through the how about you shot. So we are, uh, like I say, we're walking on that. You trying to throw up another way, like uh, uh, Yahweh Shah said, bro, hey, you, <laughs> you're gonna be uh, uh, looked at it like a thief or a robber. You know? But, hey, Yahweh hey, Shah said, you gonna follow him and walk through here, you know, like that he is the door. So no, we ain't trying to walk another way, all right? Hey. The Lord allowed uh, uh, Paul to have those, those writings in there. We're going to continue following those writings because, like I say, that's, that gives us a, a good standing in life when we walk those ways. Just like, just like the commandment. He was like, well, do you put uh, Paul uh, uh, words, uh, you can say the commandments. Bro, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great, uh, it's a good guideline through life. And we're going to continue uh, going through it and pushing uh, the word that came through the scripture and it was written by Paul. Uh, we ain't taking nothing away from the book. They hypocrites at the end of the day, man, because they they use the, the very, they, they use Paul's scriptures, you know, out in the streets teaching and, you know, when they're debating and doing it, but then come back and say he's, his word ain't authoritative. Come on, man. Right. What a shit. Hey, man, so with that, man, a little bit of special edifying. One of all praises on that glory or two. Yeah, how up by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Kakudash. Go by unto the apostles of the great the teacher will be submissive to the elect. Shalom. Shalom. Be content. Trust in the Lord.